Hello friends, welcome to our channel, Techwind. In this video, we will see about setting up the ONU modem, to root for BSNL FTTH connection, so that, you'll be able to receive and make SIP calling in mobile phones, through SIP apps like Zoeper, Grand Streamwave etc. In this video, we'll see setting up of the root, in DBC Agood model ONU, for Huawei IE G8141A5, see this video, DBC, Sharp. Cyrotech, Netlink. OptiLink modems etc. with two LAN ports, one POTS port, two Wi-Fi antennas all share the same look once logged in. So, the root process is the same for the above said modems. Getting into the video, open a browser, enter the IP address of your ONU. Enter the credentials and login. Once, logged in go to network. On the left lane, open internet connection. In ONU other than DBC, the left lane is not there. It opens directly into internet. Here, select your voice one. Change the service mode from voice to voice internet, don't tag any of these ports, LAN1, LAN2, Wi-Fi. Tagging any to voice one won't allow internet through these ports and vice versa. Now, click router tab. Under the tab, click static route. And click show route. A routing table opens in another window. Here you can see the routing interfaces. There is much to learn here. We don't have to get into the basics for now. Since all you need is to configure this NAS interface. NAS0 underscore 1 is your voice interface. You have to route it to allow SIP access through internet also. For that, you have to add another static route to the table. First column is destination. Wonder what to enter. Here, go to application VOIP. If your modem is already configured, you'll find a SIP address here. In my case it's 10.187.7.12, it's different for different states and some zones also. The first set of digit here, that's what you need. You've to enter 10.0.0.0 come back and enter it in the destnet. You'll enter the same SIP address in the SIP applications like Zoeper also. So, when the application tries to connect, to any server starting 10.0.0.0, it'll be going through the static route, we are setting now. If we don't add a static route, the signal goes through internet interface and fails. If the first set of your SIP address is 72 or 92 or 26 or anything, you just have to enter the digit followed by zeros. Like for example xx.0.0.0. .0. So, the next is subnet which is just 255.0.0.0 after the subnet you need the gateway. For that, go to status, WAN connection info. There under the network info, side to the voice WAN, you can see the gateway of your voice WAN, copy it, and enter it in there. The metric value is 1. And the interface, is obviously voice 1 interface. Click add. And once you're done, click show root. There will be an additional NAS interface. There. I haven't added it so it's not there in the video. Once you are done with adding the static root, 
Entering the SIP username slash password and also the SIP server in the SIP applications will enable you to make the landline VOIP calls through your mobile phone. Thank you. For more information contact us through Instagram or Telegram. Also, if you find this video useful, a subscribe to our channel would be nice. Once again, thank you for watching.